see this thing is working almost too good to the point where we have to turn it down otherwise this barrel itself could start melting 56 degrees that's way too hot to use it's safe to say that this thing's amazing we're gonna stir it and see um, what temperature that goes to I'll just put this down here for a second 56 now we're gonna stir it see what the average temperature comes to Let's do, do this live so you know that I'm not cheating at all. Still saying 57. That's going down a little bit. Put this cover on. Right, after mixing it, that's still at the top though. It's going down though. But anything after 40 is way too hot. I'm gonna switch this to Fahrenheit. I don't know how many American people are watching. Yeah, 125 degrees. You don't wanna be watching in that. You're gonna actually have to add some cold water. We got this thing pumping. Lovely. 125 degrees, you guys. I like centigrade. Because I know that 40 it's like a perfect shower. So let's see. I'm gonna lower this down a little bit. See what the bottom of the tank's saying right now. Let's see. So it's still pretty damn hot. I think this whole barrel is pretty hot. Because it's down all the way to the bottom. This has been on for about half an hour now, maybe an hour the most. So for about an hour. Yeah. That's not dropping, you guys. Yeah, that is not dropping. Oh, crap. That is dropping. Right, so even even at the bottom of the barrel, it's saying 50 degrees. Yeah. And it's not dropping. That's pretty cool. It actually means we should turn this down. We should stop putting um, stuff in there. It's too hot. It's hot enough. The Rocket Mass um, hot water heater, 150% works and actually makes it too hot again i'll just quickly put that on to fahrenheit bottom of the barrel 120 degrees 123 degrees wow wow it's 122 degrees at the bottom or 50 degrees after stirring it was 57, but now after mixing it, after been going for about an hour. But that's it, yeah. So if you want to watch how we built this, if you haven't watched how we built this, check out the video um, that I guess I'll link in here now, or the last video we uploaded the other day. I'm just gonna put this thermometer back here, and make sure to subscribe if you want to learn more off-grid secrets. Thanks for watching. Right. Okay. Day two with the. Rocket mass heater. You see, we got the fire blazing. Working well. I put a final little coat on it and some oil. Look at this. We're going to take a look at this. This has been pretty amazing. You might not believe it. 61 degrees centigrade or 143.8. So, yes, it works. Okay, let me just show you. I'll even stir it for you and then we'll take another reading. So let's stir it. I've been running it now for about two hours though because I wanted to put another coat on there and shine it up. So after it's mixed, 
I'm going to lower this to the bottom as well so you get a bottom reading because the bottom's going to be the coldest. That's plenty. And this is all rainwater, so free water. You could have this coming out of a um, a water butt that's hooked up to your guttering. Just save the water, heat it up, use it for dishes, washing hands, whatever. Showers, maybe. Yeah, that's not dropping much. So that's at the bottom of the barrel. Dropping very, very slowly. So it's pretty much consistent from the top to the bottom. I'm gonna 60 degrees. It's insane. 140, 60. Damn. All right, so. Already dirtied it. I was gonna make it all nice for you guys, make it all shiny. But uh, that's about it. It's still drying. It's still drying. Yeah, they just keep giving coats. See, it's got like a lot of cracks on this, but it's because I gave it a super, super thin coat, thinking that that would do it. But it was also while it was extremely hot. These aren't fully through. This is, as you can see, that that's just on a tiny, tiny coat. Maybe a final like thick, thick coat would probably be better. Or to do it while it's not hot. I'll probably try to do it while it's not hot. Let that set naturally with just a final layer. Don't know how many final layers I'm gonna give this thing, but it's structurally sound. Those cracks are only on the outside. Anyway, thanks for watching the update. I hope you guys build one. I hope you're inspired to build one. They're super easy. They cost almost next to nothing. You don't even have to use a small tank like this, you could use a big one, like that one, and it would work just the same. Depends on how much water, I mean, how much hot water you want, how much hot water you need. We don't need that much, so that is more than enough. Um, thanks for watching. Make sure to subscribe if you want to learn more off-grid secrets. Right, okay, you, and you might not believe this, but it's been off now for like an hour, and it's still... 52 centigrade it's still 125 it's been off for an hour you guys maybe even longer we've been cutting wood and stuff dude it's still super hot 126 degrees have been off for an hour so let's do a quick update centigrade 52 really? <laughs> so all day hot water, huh? Yeah, it just sits here. And this doesn't even have an insulation. We can actually make a mud cylinder to go around this as more insulation, but yeah, it's even a nice hand warmer. That's actually hot. That's nice. I can't believe it's still good after an hour. It's so it's been three hours. Has it? Yeah. It's well, been three hours. Yeah, I was gonna say because it's been a while. The sun's been off. We haven't. Put I don't think we put yeah, I'll show you inside here. Yeah, it's completely off. It's been at no least fire. two hours since we last put fuel in it. So. This pipe is still really hot. Nice. Mm -hmm. So yeah, it works better than expected.